Hey guys, Falafel92, and today we'll be discussing Fantastic Beasts. This is an extension of all the Harry Potter videos I've been doing re very recently. And so this time around, we're just going to look at one of the spinoffs, i.e. all the Fantastic Beasts mediums. So let's get into the video. So obviously I, I own a copy of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It's a very short and sweet book. It's largely, you know, as you would guess, you know, it's Newt Scamander's findings of, you know, a bunch of fantastical beasts around the world. And obviously it covers, you know, in sort of the preface before you actually read the book, you know, all the dangers that each of the beasts have, you know, ranking them from like, you know, one star being like, okay, you know, every average Joe couldn't come up to it and just be like, oh, hey, you know, let's be friends type of thing up to, you know, number five, where it it doesn't matter who you are, it will escalate stuff to a point where you will not like it. And you will be lucky if you survive dealing with it. So let's, you know, just stay away from it and don't even bother touching or dealing with it. And you don't want nothing to do with it. And now we get into the movies. Now, so Fantastic Beasts came out when I was 17, and obviously it's been seven years, so yeah. But I personally thought it was easily the best out of the three movies. I felt that it was a very beautiful film and very well casted. However, for me, what I think held it back was that I just feel like it was very slow paced. And yeah. Now, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald is just... I recently rewatched it for the sake of this video and just, my gosh, you know, it, it's a joke, honestly. Like, there's just way too many stuff that, you know, dumb stuff like, you know, obviously Jacob Kowalski getting his mind obliviated yet because, quote, he didn't have any bad memories. He can just not even survive being, having his mind obliviated. And it's like, you completely nullify the point of using that spell if he just he didn't have any quote bad memories and also you know disappearing in and out of hogwarts that's not necessarily the fault that's also the fault of harry potter and and the uh you know half blood prince you know that movie also committed that same offense but i'm also not going to stand by and let the crimes of grindelwald just walk away that it's also an example of a crime that he committed. Joking. But yeah, and obviously having, you know, a certain activist I that we're not going to talk about, Cough Tina, and also Ezra Miller, and, and also, again, moving to Secrets of Dumbledore, guess what? Justice for Johnny. So, yeah. And honestly, I, I tried to like Secrets of Dumbledore, and the first time I watched it, I was on a flight to the Netherlands, and I tried desperate, desperately to not fall asleep. And unfortunately, I struggled with that. So I had a very not time, fun time watching it. The second time I rewatched it was a few months ago, and then obviously, again, a couple days ago for this video. I, I think that Secrets of Dumbledore is kind of the middle of the road for this trilogy. But again, it's a case of, you know, portraying Dumbledore as, and Grindelwald as lovers when really it's just a case of author doing stuff that really she's trying to do this way after the fact slash when the series main series is over and then being like, oh, yeah, you know, I can't just... Had, if I really wanted to do this type of stuff, I would have done it before, but I'm just going to wait until after the fact. So, yeah. And also, like I said, Justice, Justice for Johnny and also Ezra Miller. I'm not explaining Ezra Miller and what he did over the entirety of last year. So, yeah. But, I'm, you know, I want to like Fantastic Beasts. I like Harry Potter. I like the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them book. I want to like the movies. But sadly, only the first one is good. The rest are jokes. Just throw them out. You know, and Warner Brothers has no one else to blame but themselves. Same with Rowling for agreeing to do this. And I've just left myself and a lot of people just disappointed. So, yeah. 
And that's been Fantastic Beasts on Fantastic Friday with Falafel92.